Thanks for watching the Erupting Volcano Teacher's Guide. This is a step-by-step -step video presentation created to assist educators with the erupting volcano activity. The instructions of this activity are followed step-by-step -step in this video. Have your students cover their desk with a newspaper. In step one, tear two newspaper sheets in half. Then wad the single piece of newspaper from the outer edges into a potato shape. After completing all four paper wads, you can begin step two by placing four paper wads on the cardboard pad and taping them to the cardboard. Leave a small place in the center for the volcano tube. Place the volcano tube in the center of the pad, but don't tape it down. It will be removed later for cleaning. Your paper wad should hold the tube vertically. In step four, create three full-size potato-shaped paper wads using the same method as before. After creating the paper wads, place them around the volcano tube using tape to hold them in place. Build the volcano to the top of the tube, but not taller than the tube or wider than the pad. Tear small pieces of newspaper and wad them up to fill any holes. Use tape to seal the space between the paper wads and the top of the volcano tube. Do not tape anything to the tube. Step 6 requires the students to have about an inch of water in their project bases. Have the students cut plaster cloth into approximately 3 inch strips. Be sure to keep the plaster cloth dry until used. Propping the cardboard pad on the edge of the water pan will enable you to easily tuck the plaster cloth under the project base. Lay plaster cloth across the bottom portion of the mountain, bumpy side up. Wrap plaster cloth under the cardboard and smooth the plaster with wet fingers to fill the holes. Working the plaster cloth to the top, overlap each strip by half until the diorama is covered by two layers. Allow the diorama to dry overnight. Now that your diorama is dry, it's time to paint the volcano. Wet your brush with water several times while painting the mountain with the earth color. Dab black around the mouth of the volcano, rock faces, lower areas, and places where soil would naturally collect. After dabbing the black color onto the volcano, dab rock color on the rock areas. In order to get the bushes to stay on the diorama, dab glue where you want bushes to go. Press dark green underbrush into the glue. Now you can add two tablespoons of water to the remaining glue in your cup. Use the diluted glue where you want the medium green coarse accents to go. After placing your sifter lid on the cup of the medium green coarse accents, sprinkle accents on the diluted glue. Set your volcano in the project base to catch the lava flow. Make sure the tube is all the way down into the base. Have students pour all the eruption mixture A into the tube. Have students pour eruption mixture B a little at a time into the tube to see the eruption. After the eruption, rinse the volcano tube and project base, then dry the project base well so that you can label it. Create labels and attach them to the dry project base. Put the volcano in the project base and take it home.